I'm going to bring in a couple of players in a minute, so it's going to get a little bit tasty, a little bit interesting. So you might have to quicken your passing up. There you go. When his team have possession high up the pitch in a wide position, Appleton coaches the number 10 to attempt to receive the ball in either of the boxes in zone three on the corners of the area. This movement gives the opposition central defender a decision to make, whether he follows and is drawn outside the width of the goal or whether he holds his position, potentially allowing the number 10 to turn in the penalty area. I want to try and somehow work these centre halves away from the goal, okay? And if we get the ball high up the pitch in these areas, whether it be with the full back here or the wide player here, I'm saying to my number 10 or even my number nine at times, can you come and play corner box? Because if he doesn't, he makes life very, very easy for when the ball comes into the box, nine times out of 10 or eight times out of 10, defender's gonna be comfortable with that and he wants you to put the ball into the box. But if you come into these areas here, and the full back is looking after the, the wide player or the full back on, on our side, whoever it may be. There's the temptation of him having to go there. You could argue that the midfield player on this side does his job and stops it. But then what it does, it allows us to, as that happens there, it allows us to get high up the pitch and get switched on the opposite side of the field. And then we try to recate the same thing. So if it goes from there to there, it might be now the number 10 or the number nine, whichever did it do it the first time round to try and get into that area and try and force him out to that area. So you're always playing cat and mouse with the opposition rather than just looking to put the ball in the box. How do we move them two centre-halves? Where do them two centre-halves want to play all game? They want to play in the width of the goal, don't they? They don't want to move out of them central areas. Okay, so it might be that I find my little 10 in there. I might do. Now then, if that does happen, and he doesn't go with you, what are you going to do? You're going to turn and you're going to get him. You're going to do 1v1 or wherever it may be. If he goes right up your backside, which he's going to do this time. Okay, now then, hold it there. What happens to that area there? Gets bigger, there's more space. So whether it's a set pass back into me as a full back, the, yeah, the next one might be in there. It might be, it might be a switch of play, or I might even look to play my, my wide player. But all of a sudden, they're slightly disjointed. I've got the centre half playing outside the width for the goal. He's in an area that he doesn't want to play in. And we've got an opportunity to create chances. Okay? Same on the opposite side if it comes about. So when you're in them areas, think about how can you suck the two centre halves out of that central area and sort of play, work your play rounds. Everything we did this morning. To see the full coaching course and for more exclusive content from top level professional and academy coaches, subscribe to the Coaches Voice Academy at academy.coachesvoice.com.